Okay guys, I'll show you how to overclock already. This guy Tasmanian Droid on all droid has figured out how to push the droid uh, CPU to new levels. Um, currently he's at 1.3 gigahertz, which is more than double stock droid. Um, that's faster than the Nexus 1. And he's still going. All he's released so far, as far as kernel, kernel patches, is going to 1 gigahertz though. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to show you how to patch to 1 gigahertz and then do a Wi-Fi fix that may or may not enable wireless, wireless tethering on non-ROMed phones. I have, I'm running a ROM, so I'm not sure what it'll do with other ROMs. Right now I'm running Bugless Beauty. Um, I've tried it on Smoked Glass. Uh, I haven't tried the Aldroid yet, one yet, but yeah. Reboot your phone into recovery mode right now. It's a lot easier than doing it later. Um, what you're gonna do is, you know, do the CD, C colon slash tools, and mount your tools folder. If you don't know what I'm talking about already, you don't know what ADB is, you don't know what SDK is, you don't know what recovery mode is, you don't have SP recovery, go do an intro video, figure out how to root your phone, figure out how to use droid root helper, etc, etc, etc. Otherwise, from your tools folder, you'll do, there we go, I've already done this a few times, so type in ADB push evil boot one g dot image slash SD card, and just let that push over to your SD card, and then you'll wait. And it'll push, and it'll push. Alright. And you'll go and do the same thing for TIWLAN underscore DRV dot KO. Both of these files will be in the sidebar, and if he updates with any more kernels, I'll put them in the sidebar as well. Um, after that, what you need to do is go on your phone, and I can't show you because it's on the phone, and I can't capture on the phone with anything as far as I know. Um, especially in recovery mode. If you know anything, let me know. Go on to m go down to mount options, and mount your slash system, and mount your slash SD card. You don't need to unmount cache, and then just leave your phone. Um, all right. Then what you're gonna do is do an ADB shell, and what you're gonna do is slash system slash xbin slash flash underscore image. Oop. If I can learn to spell image, boot, and then do the slash SD card slash evil boot dot image. And if you're not an idiot and you know where your flash image file is, which I don't, huh? That could be problematic. Alright, ignore the last 20 seconds, I'm a retard. Alright, so I didn't know where my flash image was stored. Um, figure this out beforehand. If not, then just try with xbin and bin as your source for flash image. And type in the correct name of the image file on your SD card. And then press enter, and it'll give you the same command back. Um, I'll show you guys that again, using the correct version with some space. Slash system, slash bin, slash flash, underscore image, boot, sd card slash evil boot 1g dot image right, I forgot to put that in last time and poof you have the 1g kernel you can overclock to 1 gigahertz now using set CPU which will also be found in the sidebar um, what it'll read out is actually 600 megahertz on the slider bar but when you overclock it'll read out 999 megahertz in the top left corner um, what we're gonna do next is install a LAN fix because He's not sure if Wi-Fi will work with this kernel on all phones, so he's just released a patch for those that don't, and I'm going to show you how to do it. That's the TIWLAN DRVKO file. Um, make sure that your slash system is mounted. Uh huh. I wonder if I can do this from inside of recovery mode. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, reboot your phone. No, not unmount. Reboot. All right, reboot your phone into normal mode. This doesn't need to be done in recovery mode. You just need a ADB shell. So once it lets you, once it lets you open a shell. Oh wait, maybe might be close. There we go. All right. Once you get in, make sure that uh. Yeah, it's not. Alright. What you're gonna do is type in mount 
slash o, remount, come on, rw. I don't know what, where my script is stored right now, so. Alright, yeah, I didn't think that would work. You're gonna actually want to type in this dash o, remount, comma, rw, and then do yes2, dash t, and then you're gonna want uh, slash div, slash block, slash mtd block, four, and then space slash system. What this does is, oh my god. Okay, that was close. I forgot something in there. What did I forget? Retard, why is this not working? Um, what did I miss? Is the dash t in the wrong place? Okay, dash t was on the wrong side of the apps too. Um, anyway, now that your system is mounted as rewritable, what you're gonna do is copy. You uh, wanna, wanna do cat slash system slash lie lib slash modules yes slash t-i-w-l-a-n underscore d-r-v dot k-o space arrow uh, slash system slash lib slash modules slash t-i-w-l-a-n underscore d-r-v dot k-o dot back that backs up your original file. Why did I do that? I just... Okay, well I'm a retard because I just erased my original... Uh, <laughs> uh, original wireless driver, but ignore that. Um, then what you're gonna do is... Type in the same command. I'm using some shortcuts. Except for the first half, you're gonna wanna do... Cat S SD card. Alright, so what that'll do is take the TIWLAN drive KO file from your SD card and put it into where your original Wi-Fi driver was. Um, then you're going to want to CH mod it. This is a permissions mod. And you're going to want to just slash system slash LIB slash modules slash TIWLAN underscore DRV dot KO. Alright, and then you're done. You can remount the system as read-only. I don't do that. I don't bother to. Um, now you have Wi-Fi, maybe wireless tethering. Somebody test for me. Um, I'll throw the wireless tethering app in the sidebar. And with the download of set CPU, when you set the CPU to 600 megahertz, it should now go to 1 gigahertz. Have fun, guys. And any questions, leave them in the comment section. Okay, just patch through with the uh, 1 gigahertz kernel. I'm gonna prove to you it does gigahertz. Poof! 1 gigahertz. Now it says it's doing 600. That's because Tasmanian Droid replaced the original 600 value in the system, wherever it is, with a gigahertz. And if you refresh, it's still there. You set it down to 500, it goes to 500. You set it up to 600, it goes to a gigahertz. Have fun, guys. It works. Completely stable for me. Not many complaints. You know. And here's some wireless tethering. Let's see if I can get it to. Oh, it's not in this menu. Let's see if I can get it to work. I haven't tested it with this patch yet. Yeah. Um, what is this? Oh, okay, donate button. Press the button. It'll give you a uh, su command. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know how bright it is. Oh wow. Through the camera screen, it looks really horrible. Like, unreadable. And I'm using manual focus, so I can't even like move the camera height-wise. Um, there's two options here. Either it'll start tethering, or it'll force reboot. It's sort of up to the phone. Depends which kernel you're loading. Depends which uh, ROM you're using. Stuff like that. And poof. Okay. That's what happens when you try and wireless tether. So, with this ROM, don't wireless tether. It don't work.